Hi guys, welcome to Idea Fab. Who is out there to make your own DIY emergency lamp? Please subscribe our channel for simple and creative innovative ideas. Okay, let's build something. Okay, let's start with the components required. We need a 4 volt 1 ampere hour battery and 4 volt LED strip, a diode 1 and 4 node not 7 and a 2 quarter watt 100 ohm resistors an LED bulb anything like green blue or red a double throw switch and a USB connector and a case like this uh, an electronic chalk case and few multi strand wires First take the electronic chalk case. Here we need to put some holes to place the USB connector, LEDs and switch over the case. There you go. Uh, you can use uh, your soldering iron or drill to make this hole. Okay, you can use a knife or a blade to remove the unwanted portions. Okay, first take the 4 volt on the ampere hour battery. Now connect the positive terminal to the battery directly to the center pin of the double throw switch. Now connect one end of the switch to the cathode of the diode. In order to do this you can use a multi strand wire piece. This is the IN4007 diode. You can solder it carefully. Connect the anode to the positive wire of the USB port. This is a micro USB port, so you can charge with your smartphone charger. Fix it inside the electronic chalk through the holes you made. Now connect the negative end of the USB port to the negative terminal of the battery. Solder the leads and connect with the multi strand wire. Connect the 100 ohm resistor to the positive terminal of the USB port.
place the LED over the holes. And now connect the positive terminal of the LED to the 100 ohm resistor. Connect the negative terminal of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery. Take the other 100 ohm resistor. Now connect the 100 ohm resistor to the other end of the switch. Now it's time to place the components inside the case. Now you have two terminals, positive and negative. Take it out from the case. Now place the components properly inside the case and make sure that no leads get shorted. This is your positive terminal and this is the negative one. Now you can place the switch properly. In order to do that, take some screws and fix it properly. Now close the case using the back cover and screw it properly. Yes, your emergency lamp case is now ready. Now take the LED strip. Let us show the terminals. That means positive to positive and negative to negative.
okay now take an aluminium sheet and fix it over the case it will act as a heat sink and you can use a glue gun to fix it and now stick the LED strip over the sheet now connect the lead wires from the electronic choke case and then connect it with the positive and negative terminal of the LED strip respectively yes finally we have made our own DIY emergency lamp let's see how we can use it now you can mark some labels like on off and recharge now put your switch in recharge mode and connect your USB charger to the micro USB port and wait until the battery get fully charged Uh oh current gone no problem we have our emergency lamp please hit like and subscribe for more videos thank you